Hello everyone, this is Kurode giving you a shoutcast and a game between Yumiko versus Remind. Here on Turtle Rock, we have Yumiko spawning as the light blue human player at the what the three o'clock position. Meanwhile, it is going to be a close spawn here for um, the Night Elf player Remind as the red Night Elf. So this is going to be Night Elf versus Human. I'll try to refrain from actually using the correct names just because Remind decided to be Xiao Modern um, 2 here. So anyways, taking a look at the game, we are getting an Ancient of War being built over here. Most likely it is going to be an Archer, which will pop out over here, start dealing some damage towards those creeps, rather to those creeps, activate them, and then let that Ancient of War take all that uh, brutal, brutal damage. Meanwhile, uh, we can see Altar of the Elders is up. Normally, we see a Night Elf going for a Demon Hunter or a, or a Warden as their first heroes, especially against a human player. We'll see if that is going to be the same case this time around. We are getting an Altar of Kings. A Barracks is now up, and we are now getting a Militia running across the map, and it will quickly find out that this is going to be a close spawn here on Turtle Rock. A very, very, very fast close spawn here on Turtle Rock, meaning a lot of damage can be done um, relatively early. And this may be a problem, especially if the militia try to put down that pressure very er early. We are now getting a Warden. So that Warden is being trained up as that first hero, um, a typical agility hero, as we are now getting that Archer up and running as well. And what is this militia doing? The militia should have seen um, the, the Night Elf player spawning over here. If he actually didn't uh, stick his head far enough in, no, he's going to be building a scout farm instead. Over here by the tavern, we'll be able to resurrect very, very quickly using that tavern. Ancient of War already taking some damage as we are now getting a footman uh, making his making a move over off into this direction here. It looks as though that giant sea turtle will be taking a fair amount of damage. Some wisp need to be called over as well as that warden is finally out. We should be getting some Militia and an Archmage now um, making their way out. So it is going to be the Archmage trying to get some damage. In comes that Footman. The Footman is trying to get damage onto this uh, giant Sea Turtle. Trying to get out that last point of damage there. But I believe Yumiko may have just overextended himself and then took in a little bit more damage onto that footman and that warden is now sitting at level one will be awfully close to level two but the ancient of war may now fall we are getting a lot of militia here and now the wisp are getting some damage taking some damage a quick detonation another water elemental coming in a shadow strike on the archmage archmage deciding to back off a detonation there as the ancient of war down to 200 hit points already and that is going to be a problem if the ancient of war goes down no additional production buildings but meanwhile back over here the Archmage has taken a fair amount of damage already as the Militia now starting to do a Tower Rush here on Turtle Rock. So a Tower Rush here on Turtle Rock, an Ancient of War going to be built alongside it, making it much more difficult to try to speed build this as that Scout Tower should be upgraded to an um, Arcane Tower in just a moment. The Water Elemental is now going to go and deal some deal some damage against this one Ancient of War. And meanwhile, back over here, we can see that the Archmage is trying to run away. The Archmage does have a little bit of experience from taking down a couple of those units. The Warden, however, seeing that level 1, almost level 2, and a very low hit point um, peasant now able to return home. The Footmen are now going after those archers, perhaps, but Nightfall is coming, and those archers and the Warden will be able to Shadow Melt, and that will definitely help. The Ancient Arcane Tower already taking a lot of damage, going to be canceled at just the last moment there, and enabling him to save back, I believe, 70 gold and 50 wood or 50 lumber as the warden now gives chase most likely that warden will just shell, sell that cloak of shadows as it does absolutely nothing for the warden unless he tries to train up a demon hunter and say a keeper of the grove next and he wants to be able to shadow meld with those units one archer taking a bit of no not taking any damage at all those footmen for some reason couldn't um couldn't swing their swords to actually take it down. Meanwhile, we are getting this Archmage. Archmage sitting at level 1 still. No Brilliance Aura. So that is going to definitely hurt that Archmage. As that Archmage is not going to be able to drop any Water Elementals. No Water Elementals makes an Archmage very, very weak. As you can see that the Archers are still just simply looking to find where that um, where those units are. And I believe this Archer is just going to sacrifice herself. And hide in, in the Mineral or hide in the Creep Camp over there. Shadow Meld and now pull back. We can see that the Footmen are now once again running away. But the Warden now getting even more damage. The Warden, the Shadow Strike does now cost, I believe, 75 mana in order to cast the Shadow Strike. Now that Footman going to attempt to run in between here. And it looks like we will be able to squeeze through here as now Militia coming out to welcome that Warden. As the Archmage and all the heroes are still sitting at level 1, waking up the creeps. And now... 
Um, Shadow melding only with that Warden. We should be getting a Dust of Appearance there. And now, finally, that Warden taking a fair bit of damage down to 255 hit points as it finally decides to back off. One low hit point Militia most likely will get taken down. The Warden will not get to level 2 off of that. Getting very, very close as we are now having the Footman trying to surround Archmage. Getting close to level 2 as well. There is still one uh, Turtle Hatchling that needs to get taken down as the Militia turn around and give chase. The Militia do move faster than those footmen so that is the reason why there as another shadow strike onto the archmage archmage down to um what 168 hit points attempting to run away the militia need to help and um, help out their hero and now it looks like the oh the militia actually blocking the pathing and the archmage gets taken down at level one so his own militia preventing um, that Archmage from being able to run away, and because that Archmage uh, took one additional hit, the Shadow Tick timer was enough to shut it down there. But luckily for Yumiko, a level 1 hero resurrects rather quickly. I believe it's only like 20 seconds to resurrect a hero faster than the train up a footman. As the militia are now making a move over here, going to try to start dealing or deal some damage onto the ogre warriors before, right as that archmage comes out, is, are they going to actually take down these hero these units? They shouldn't take them down. Now, simply moving back over here, we do have defend on these footmen. So the, the footmen are defending from any of these piercing attacks. The Archmage is going to be popping out right now. So as soon as these um, units are taken down, the level 2 on that Archmage now up. Brilliant's Aura is ready to go. Also picking up a healing scroll in order to heal up the rest of those footmen. And now just going to get in position and also pick up some additional items as well. That circlet of nobility will help. Meanwhile, the Warden sitting at level 2 getting close to level 3 now. Needs to really figure out his long-term goal. We are at Tree of Ages. We are getting the Ultra Vision. So we may also be getting Huntresses. The Huntresses would be a perfect counter to those Footmen. As those Footmen have Defend already. And now in comes that Warden. The Warden, does he have a fan of Knives? No. No, getting off a Shadow Strike off onto a Footman. The Footman down to 128 hit points. Now attempting to hide. Will just most likely hide back over here for a bit of time. As it will... As it will not be able to regenerate any hit points anytime soon unless the Archmage decides to use another healing scroll. Back here, we are getting up a second hero. So the Mountain King is now up. Um, Yumiko getting the Mountain King as that second hero. We get a Stormbolt onto that um, onto that Warden in just a moment. No, the rest of the heroes are trying to make their way over. There's a Stormbolt, long distance Stormbolt. But the Warden and um, that stun should break up in just a moment. And now the, um, whoa, the Mountain King with Boots of Speed was able to get in front for just a little bit of time. And there is another Stormbolt. And now the Mountain King trying to get a surround off, unable to do so as the Warden also with the Boots of Speed able to run away. Both heroes moving very, very quickly as the Mountain King now quaffs another Clarity Potion in order to get more mana and perhaps be able to stun back that Warden. The Warden is sitting at level 2. It is now giving chase. You can see that the Warden is trying to come back in, unable to do so. And now I'm pushing back in. It looks as though the Mountain King should have enough or a decent amount of energy or mana for quite some time with the help of the Circlet of Nobility and that Brilliant Aura sitting on almost 300 mana. will be sitting at 300 mana in just a moment. Archmage making sure that there are no creep camps available down here in order to clear out. And now dropping a Water Elemental. And now in comes another push. We are going into Dryads. So Dryads are going to be very, very strong. But the problem is going to be whether or not they can deal any damage to those Footmen. The Footmen do have Defend. Able to um, take reduced damage from Piercing. And also able to reflect damage back against a Dryad. That reflected damage very, very heavy as those Footmen... Both sides attacking back and forth. The footmen were defending in for just one second there, able to perhaps reflect an arrow or two and now finally return. The archers only have 245 hit points, but they do take res um, take less damage from spells. So that will definitely help out in the long run as we are now going into mortar teams. So we are now moving into a rifle workshop build. The blacksmith was built into the very, very far back of the base. So that piercing damage and that um, and that fortified or that siege damage is going to absolutely tear apart these dryads. It just will not work well against those archers. A mountain king able to get off of a stun onto that little wisp there, and we may be getting a creep um, or uh, yeah, a creeping now over here. We may get level. No, we probably will not level up at all. The Rifleman does deal a good amount of damage, and now both sides are battling it out. That Archmage taking a... Um, sorry, the Archmage uh, dropping some Water Elementals, and now in comes one Priest and also one Mortar. So that Mortar team dealing 52 to 64 damage, also dealing Splash damage as well, but I believe... 
that Remind is doing a better job creeping if he's actually able to take down into this giant sea turtle. Anyways, back over here, we are going to get another Troll Trapper taken down. Down it goes. There is one Priest. The Priest does have a decent amount of energy, and we also have a Flying Machine for um, Sight Reveal. And oh, poor, poor um, Warden there. The Warden... Uh, running straight in, accidentally taking some damage from Gigantuan Sea Turtles as well. The, the level 7 Sea Turtle does deal chaos damage as a Pandirium Brewmaster with a Pendant of Energy. That is absolutely huge. A lot of Breath of Fires. And I'm not quite sure what these Mortar Teams are trying to do. The Mortar Teams were uh, apparently trying to clear out a way into their base uh, and so to make it even faster or easier to um, just walk into the base here and perhaps clear out these um, trees as well. We are getting some um, Druids of the Claw. So those um, bears are going to be able to deal a lot of damage. And now in comes the damage. In comes the Shadow Strike. The Footman already taking some damage there. And now, oh, some foot, uh, some towers uh, being placed down here. So Ivory Tower is being used in order to um, act as an early warning system in order to deal damage. And now this is going to be very, very just um, interesting how to see this and um, how this is going to work. The footmen or the mortar teams can sit right here and start shelling out damage onto the main critical buildings. The flying machines are going to act as the spotters as the mortar teams are still being added. Are any more mortar teams being trained? It does not look like it. So now more guard towers being added in here. And this is a uh, this is a mid game tower push with the mortar teams and now using these guard towers here. And I do not think the Ancient of Wars are going to be able to really deal that much damage against um, these towers. You can see and that he's trying to eat his way through. There is one water elemental there. The bears are now trying to engage as well. The guard towers um, can take a fair bit of damage as that Mountain King now in the front. No, um, Ancient of War already down to 352 hit points. It is slowly regenerating hit points as it is eating trees. As the footmen are now battling out, there is a breath of fire. Those footmen on hold position just a little bit too long. And now that Ancient of War trying to be repaired. But those guard towers will be up. The mortar teams getting in some nice splash damage onto those dryads there. As both sides are battling out, and th these guard towers will complete in just a moment. They need to focus down these um, guard towers. Otherwise, those guard towers are going to be dealing a lot of damage in just a second. You can see both sides still trying to push their way through. One guard tower is down. A second guard tower may go down. Down to 90 hit points, 58. It is now up and running. The Warden able to shut this down here. And so it, we are going to have level 2 Pandirian Brewmaster and more Mortar Teams just continuing to shell it out. Another Dryad getting splatted by that um, fragmentation shards i don't think it's being researched a nice clap coming in as well that mountain king oh i believe that's a, um, a squirrel town portal now being used as this guard tower is in position the ancient of wars however do not teleport with that guard tower so that is going to cause those ancient of wars to just fall um, to fall down rather quickly as they are not going to be able to um, heal enough as more guard towers are now once again being retrained the footmen are now once again in full retreat a rejuvenation now cast onto that pandemian brewmaster both sides still battling it out as an Ancient of War now pushing his way forward. Uh, Drew to the Claw now um, pushing in as well as the, what, the the more guard towers here. I do not think Remind realized that there were guard towers here as well. And those guard towers are dealing a large amount of damage. Very, very fast attack rates. Um, 23 to 27 attacking more quickly than a Rifleman. And those guard towers are just poking apart down over here. These guard, guard towers will get destroyed. But both players still running off of one base right now. And the Sorceresses are now coming in. I believe uh, more Dryads are going to get destroyed. Level 3 finally on that Archmage. As the Bears are fighting back. We're going to get some more Spell Steel Roar now being stolen as well. As a nice staff of Preservation keeping up a bear, keeping a bear alive. These guard towers are being repaired, causing even more damage. And the Pandemian Brewmaster down to 22 hit points. It's not going to get taken down. The Mountain King didn't have enough energy for a storm bolt as this guard tower now um being um being constructed and also being repaired at the same time another ancient of war now getting taken down this guard tower over here may get taken down the dryads quickly going to take down this scout tower but not before a round of fragmentation shards or a round of um what just a siege damage lays lays heavily onto these bears remind sitting at 55 over 70 meanwhile yumiko sitting at 51 over 60 both sides I'm um, sitting in low upkeep right now, but I believe those mortar teams are just going to be able to continue to push rather easily. You can see one moon well may get taken down as well. Some priests are now coming over to try to heal up the rest of this party. Rejuvenation now cast on the Druids of the Claw. 
that is a very strong um, bear army with dryads and with no griffins in sight. Those bears are going to be able to ha and deal a lot of damage, but a lot of these guard towers, a lot of these buildings are going to get taken down. You can see one guard tower may get taken down, or yeah, it is going to get taken down. These peasants are not on auto repair. The dryads quickly focusing it down. One guard tower is up and running. We may get another staff of preservation in just a moment. There's a breath of fire. Both sides battling it out. Still level four on the warden. The warden now um, deciding to back off. It does did get a slow on it as the Pandirian Brewmaster may be able to get off another breath of fire. Another druid, uh, sorry, this one, druid of the claw. Trying to take down the guard tower, but the peasants within are trying to repair it, getting within melee range, and another breath of fire there. Another guard tower finally being placed down as well as a shadow strike once again being recast onto that mountain king. And the only thing that's really keeping remind in this game is this crazy micro. He is constantly rejuvenating his druids of the claw, and that is why he is able to get so much, um, so much damage in and and keeping these bears up alive constantly. Mountain king now coming in, warden now seeing that. Level Level two Mount King maybe overexposing himself, clapping, and now I'm taking a bit of damage. You can see the Mount King down to um, only 340 hit points, and now the guard towers are coming back in. The Mount King does have a potion of lesser invulnerability that it can use. There it goes. Is it going to be able to take down a bear? No, taking down the warden instead, and the warden at level four gets taken down, and there's the GG by Remind. So Remind losing this game to Yumiko here on Turtle Rock. A very, very close matchup. A very impressive use of mortar teams clearing out trees in order to place down guard towers and then also allowing those mortar teams to get in some easy damage. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay and this Warcraft 3 replay between Remind and Yumiko.